Mr. Fairy. Yeah. I'm watching you. Hi. That's Hi, nice. guys and gals. I'm Pal, and this is Nova. We're playing Wind Waker. Last time, I was sick. This time, I'm sick again. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to start the episode by going through that door. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of going through puberty again. So if I sound squeaky, it's because I'm sick. And it's not puberty. Before you yell in the comments, but you can only go through puberty once in your life. No, no. I took a special fill. Oh, wait. This ladder probably falls after you destroy all the enemies, I would think. Okay, I'm gonna bomb this thing. Or you could just let them all loose. Didn't we discover... There's voice crack. Didn't we discover that there was some sort of kind of secret with these? No. I thought we did. No. Wait, hmm. yeah, we did. What I don't was remember it? what it was. Okay, well, these are re-deads, which I don't think we fought before. Have we? We have not. Within this playthrough. Yeah, we haven't fought these, so... They're scary. And we don't like their faces. What was it that we discovered about them? Was it some sort of weapon that we have? It was some sort of way to defeat them. I think it was the skull hammer. Use the skull hammer on one. Okay. Now, if we let them... Um, if we get close to them... Then they will shriek like an elephant. Whoa, that's whoa, what whoa. it is. That's what it is. Use the skull hammer. It's awesome. Oh my <laughs> word, that's creepy. That's amazing. But yeah, they'll they'll frighten you, and if they get to you, they will literally chew on your head. They'll straddle your body and chew on your head and suck out your brains and also your innocence. Remember how much the, they used to freak us out when we were little? Uh, forget when we were little. They still freak me out. You want to grab the key? Yeah. Yeah, so this time we're just going to- we're actually- we might finish up the dungeon. Oh yeah, I we, can- We very- I can cruise through this We dungeon. very well might finish up the dungeon this episode. And don't worry, hopefully my voice will be completely fine uh, by the time the next episode rolls around. I just don't want to take a break in the schedule too much, since I'm trying to finish this LP as best I can, despite all the sicknesses, illnesses, and the zombification of college. You know, I did offer to do a couple episodes for you. Yeah. Wait, what is this place? Don't you remember? Ah, that's what it is. Can I help? Yeah, I can help in this dungeon. Okay. Awesome. So, have we fit? We haven't faced these guys either. These are, uh, Salphos. And Tickle Bombs don't work on them. Good to know. Skull Hammer does, I think. Okay, so they're very different from Stealthos in um, in games like Ocarina of Time. They don't block with their shield. They instead just try to hit you with a mace. And Nova will not block with the mace. Or she will. Nova, try to jump attack. Or actually, wait. No, try spin attack with that thing. It's probably going to do some damage. It takes too long to turn. Yeah, yeah I guess. Uh, tingle. I don't think I can actually lock onto them, which is odd. That's that's really odd. So, uh, typically how you're supposed to defeat them is drop a bomb at their feet, then bait them into hitting it, or just let the bomb time out. Uh, but Nova likes to do the more hands-on approach of hitting them with someone's head through the skull hammer. Yeah, I like to use every weapon that's at my disposal. Are you sure about that? Tingle not included. The Tingle Balloon is ready to help you, sir. Actually, the Tingle Balloon might work if you got up on one of those ledges that I could give you a balloon and you would be hit by them. Um, it's not like they're extremely dangerous, though. I'm not trying to avoid being hit, really. Yeah, but it'd be funny. Man. I feel kind of useless right now. Oh, wait, what does he say? Astalfos closely watch his movements and attack his head when he's down. Tingle's secretly evil. And he's about to evil his hand upon your head. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but Team Four Star is very funny, and Dragon Ball Bridged is also funny. And my voice 
is funnier than that. And this is the mirror shield. It's not funny at all. Except for the, sh the handle placement. Do you see that? That's no, I missed it. It's right in the middle of the shield. Literally in the center. And as someone who's made shields and studied shield design, it's not how shields work. Really weird. So with Medley having the mechanic of reflecting light, this mechanic is equally deepened, I guess, by having the mirror shield. She's able to shine light onto us, and we're able to shine light from us and her and the light above onto something else. And Pretty cool. A perfect example of that will be seen in this room. Although I do have something against this item, and that is it's not really an item. What do you mean? It doesn't affect much outside of this dungeon. Yeah, it really doesn't. Um, unlike other games where the mirror shield will do something, uh, like Minish Cap, where you use the mirror shield and it will reflect enemy projectiles back in a beam. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. But in this game, not so much. And yes, my voice will be this bad through the entire episode. Put medley on this. With four exclamations. There's some kind of mark here. Okay, so for now, Medley's going to place the light in a way where to, where Link can use it without any enemy getting in the way. And that place happens to be here. Oh, really? And I'm going to do... Let's use that. That's a Poe. It's a Moblin. Two for the price of one. And not worth it. Okay, so we can do this, which we could not do before. Open up that pathway and hopefully run through without fight, having to fight any enemies. Oh, boy. There are four enemies right on your tail, and I think I can kill that one. Yeah, I can. I wonder if they'll follow me in the tunnel. Probably. Okay, so you're low on rupees, which isn't a problem since we have infinite rupees now. So if you could, yeah. Hmm, I'm trying to think if Tingle has, an, has something that could help you. Hmm. Um, I got it. His, I got it. His absence would be helpful. I got an item. Okay, you ready? The time is 1701. Really? I just thought that might be helpful. Okay, I, I insta-killed him. Yeah, it was. Hey, I insta-killed the, the Bakoblin. Tingle, cut That's it out. useful. At least the pose are kind of docile right now. Oops, sorry. Tingle likes looking at stuff, and sometimes he doesn't like looking at stuff. Oops. Nice. That's totally how light works. Stand behind light, and you'll be able to shine a mirror. Yeah, look at these mechanics right here. <laughs> HG. If you're really bright, you might be able to reflect this light. Oh, my. <laughs> if you don't have a tan, you can reflect things. What are you doing? But why? You don't need it. Yeah, I do. For what? The passageway back there. Uh, is there? Yeah. Where? I see a passageway. Ah, I see the passageway. Good job. No! Paying attention. One sec. There we go. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, so don't spend it all, Tingle. Wow. That's eight bombs. <laughs> I'm going through puberty again. I'm gonna sound like a like Gary from Pokemon. Actually, you sounded kind of like grown-up Gohan for a minute. <laughs> I have a Gohan impression. It will only happen if I have a cold. Good to know. Man, oh, I, I can almost get in there. I do sound like. Wait a minute. Oh man, we should have used the Tingle Balloon to have Link get stuck in there. All right, three, two, one. Lift off. Go, 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 go. No. Okay. Oh, it's not high enough. Okay, that was that was pretty fun. So close. All right, now back to what we're actually doing. Shining the light on the face. So we could have done this before uh, to remove some of the fog on one side, but we couldn't open up a path this way. Now we can. If we can shine light on both sides of the face, just shining them right in the eyes. 
freezing on medley, and then switching over to Link, then we can cure the stuff and have beef jerky all day. <laughs> Get it? Because it's cured. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that what cured means in that case? I yes. I don't think it is. I mean, if you think about the Redads being like formaldehyde, that's what ke what's keeping them going. Man, does that mean that pretty soon- You're making no sense. Does that mean that pretty soon Botox will be replaced with formaldehyde? You are making no sense. I know. Okay, I'll go ahead and grab Medley and go through the door. I want to have some semblance of progress. Even if Medley wants to stare deep into our soul evilly. One thing I always found creepy about that statue is that it looks like a redead. Doesn't it? It is a redead. I know, but that's creepy. We're going... That's the entire point of this dungeon, were you not listening? Well, I knew that, but... Okay, look to the left. Because the Tingle statue is here. And look to here. the right? No. Look to the <laughs> left. Now jump. Open the sage's door to avoid getting cursed by the bubble. Open the what? The sage's door. I love I love uh, that sentence. How you, We can play a Zelda, Zelda game not even flinch at that sentence. Avoid getting cursed by the bubble. What it is uh, what is it I'm looking at? Wow, it smells of treasure. What might we find, sir? Oh, I know where okay, we are. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh wait, snap, I used Tingle Balloon. My bad. And there we go. Take two. Poof. Yeah, the statue for this dungeon is pretty easy to find, I'll be honest. I would say, would you say the hardest one was in Tower of the Gods? Yes. That yes. was definitely the hardest one. Because it's way out of the beaten path, or rather, it's behind the beaten ha path, so you're never going to see it. But this one, it's pretty obvious, especially because it's on the map. Well, I remember for the longest time, we had played through this dungeon, or rather, I had... And we had no idea that this was even back here. We thought this was just a little route you could take for some extra cash. Yeah. Tingle did this pose when he finished his first map. I think the last one is the most amazing of them all. Alright, now, something I discovered uh, outside of an episode off screen is that there's a description with every single one of these statues. And I don't know what it's for. Uh, it will. When you go into the menu of, of Tingleness, it will say, Dragon Tingle Statue, for instance, Courage Stance. But then it says, Secret Password, Outset Island. I have no clue what that means. Do you? No, I do not. The one what is the password for? What, the one for the Forbidden uh, forbidden Woods is, the password of it is, Similar Place. Then, Hidden Jar. And finally, the one we just got is uh -oh. Leaf Flight. No clue what this was. Wait, read them all again? Hidden, oh, sorry. H Outset Island, Similar Place, Hidden Jar, Leaf Flight. So we have to fly somewhere on Outset Island and find a jar. I guess. Oh, oh, is it that jar where you can get infinite rupees? Oh, wait a minute. Is it? Did they do that? Because... Outset Island, Similar Place, no clue what that means. Hidden Jar, that makes sense. Leaf flight, that could be it. It's very obscure, but that's possible. Let's see, do we get all of the Tingle statues before doing the Triforce quest? Yes. Then it's a hint on an easier way to do the Triforce quest. Okay, if they did that, first of all, that's amazing. Second of all, it now makes sense why they removed that in the, in the HD version, because Tingle's not in the game. And the Triforce quest is easier. Huh. Wow. That's possible. I don't know what similar place means, but that's cool if it well, if it's true. I'll research it, put it on screen right now, if I can find an answer. Man, my voice is shot. Okay, you remember the spot where you get the infinite infinite rupees, right? Yes. And just around the corner from that, closer to Link's grandma's house, is another ledge. Is another ledge with and a we, rupee on it. And at first, we thought that was the place, right? It's a similar place. That's possible, honestly. I I will not rule that out of possibility. I mean, Leaf Flight, Hidden Jar, totally makes sense. And I figured it out. Good job. Thank you. Now, the next the next jar we'll call it, or the next uh, statue. 
shine light on the Redeads to help defeat them. Just like in, actually this throwback to Ocarina of Time, by hitting them with the power of the sun, we can stun them. Sort of like how if you use the sun song in Ocarina of Time. I never thought of it that way. Does that work? Don't! No. Oh boy. My bad. Why? Oh wow. Uh. He hit you. And he d did he seriously just do a quarter heart of, of damage? I think he did. You can't pick them up. Man, that would've been creepy. Also, I found out how to do the glitch. The glitch I'm talking about where we tried to look, do it with look, the, uh... Look. He's gonna come in, he's gonna come in. <laughs> ah! Okay, could you kill them? The glitch we tried to do with the, um, with the Moblin, you have to throw them right as they're breaking loose. Or, sorry. Yeah, you have to throw them right as they're breaking loose. That's why I got wrong. For a minute, I thought you were going to say breaking wind. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought that's what you were gonna say. Okay, could you kill them now? And they're not dead. I think you have to hit them with the sword. You can kill them with bombs. Okay. It just doesn't really look like they're taking much damage. Man, those poor guys. Should have honestly left them there. Cause Ugh. that's torture enough. Okay, you could shine the light. They're not going to kill you. Are you seriously waiting? Wow. Yeah, these guys have a profound effect on you over life. They're scary. They are. They're horrible. Though not that scary. You should be able to go near them. Come on! Yeah, Medley, get out of the way, please. So you think we'll be able to finish this qu this dungeon today? Mm-hmm. Good, because um, honestly, I kind of wanted to do this just so we're done, so my voice can be done. It's so bad. You guys know what I'm talking about. Editing this is going to be a pain, too, because I'm going to have to listen to myself over the course of a 25-minute episode. Why can't you edit it on mute? You can't do that. Speaking of which, we will not be able to finish this episode up, because we're almost out of time. No. Oh, my word. Just use your shield. Just use yeah, your shield. I can. Come on! Yeah. What is with my controls today? I'm so mixed up. I have no clue, but it's honestly kind of entertaining. Uh. Isn't that supposed to hit the statue? There we go. It wasn't working for a while there. It's not just your controls that are mixed up. It is these statues. Ha ha ha. I did a thing. So, which room do we go in first? Either? It does not matter. Okay, choose left. I always choose left. You just say that because I chose it. No. Oh, this room. Oh boy, this room. Oh, snap. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Tinkle Balloon? Tinkle Balloon? No. Oh, yeah, he's in there. I mean, yeah, you well, could fly. Take this man. You could He'll fly. Grab me out of the air. Nova, you could. He will grab me out of the air. Uh, take I could... that. Ah! Did he throw it back? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, I killed it. Did for you, you see that? He picked it up and then it blew up in his hand. What are you doing? Go away, go away, go away. Oh, I see what you're doing. You don't even. Oh, you don't even need Medley to be in there? No. Oh. Okay. What were you talking about? I thought you needed Medley to be through there. Okay. That makes sense. I know it does. Because Whoa. I thought of it. Did I just hear. What did I just hear? Did I hear a, a, a bubble? bubble? He's in the next room. Okay, I hate those things. No worries. Bubbles are so annoying. They're they're even more annoying than keys. Yeah, that's Keys, true. you can whack away with any item that you have, but a bubbles bubble... are like super keys. They really are. You don't need to go up there. You don't have a key. Oh, yeah. Other room. room. Great. No, I you don't need step. her. You don't need her. I might. Well, let's let's find out. We can we can cut away if we need her. I don't think we will, honestly. 
Oh no, it's not the maze room. Yeah, we don't it? we don't need this room. Or we don't need her. A floor master. Be careful not to get grabbed and dragged oh, in. Certain way you gotta go. What is it I'm looking at? It smells of treasure. Tickle found a hidden treasure by the way. Did he? A bomb who will want too. Uh, you're going the right way, you're there. Did you see that? I just did that route from memory. Good job, good job. The voice cracked my- Good job! <laughs> you could be so glad once this oh, is wow. fine. This is the same reason why I did the hiatus last time. It could be is because after I, I got tonsillitis, my voice was just as shot. Okay, uh, watch out. Why? There's, there's a treasure here, right here. I think you have to kill everything and get it. It'll be worth it. Let's just cut that out. We've already got the statue. No, but it's a treasure. Fine, we'll cut this out, and we'll meet you right when the enemies are done. Ready, go. This is a, this is a good design for an enemy, because there's so much mystery around them. Like, what are they? You know? Yeah. They're like some sort of... thing grasping out of a void, or... Yeah, it something. almost looks like something's trying to reach through a void, and it makes you wonder, what is it? And what it is this? What? It's Cassidy. Not likely. These things are evil. Cassidy's not. That's why I wanted this, because it is a treasure chart. And treasure charts are good things to have. <laughs> the name's Rick Coom. It rhymes with doom. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and walk back through the door. I think we have a tiny bit of time left in the episode to try out the key on the door that it goes to. And go through. Now, imagine if this was like the, uh, the forest temple, where you have about three keys at any given time. You're not sure which ones you- which doors you should use them on. Or the water temple, where uh, there is a game-breaking uh, point. I'm still not sure about that. On the wrong. Yeah? You remember, I had to start completely over because I yeah, used to- Yeah, but I was door. wondering if that was just because we're young. We were pretty young. You never know. But it is possible. If you guessed incorrectly. Okay, now, the thing is about the uh, the light here is that it does not affect the bubbles at all. They'll just go right through it. Whereas the pose are completely useless because... Well, obviously. That. It, we saw in the previous room that it makes them materialize. Yeah. Hello. She's so like, oh, hi, Poe. I like Poe's. Poe like you. Poe you hug you. Poe not like light. Poe come out of closet. They're kind of cute. Poe die. And then the bubbles are like, I'm bubbles, I like to smoke, yo. I like to smoke all the bubbles. I'll smoke your head if you befriend me, and then you're just like, no, I'm just going to flow on you. Sorry. <laughs> Could you kill him? They are pretty cute. They look like they're in their pajamas, whereas these guys look like they're really... They've eaten spicy food. What? It's really, it's really a good, a good uh, pair right here. You have pajama man, pajama Sam, and spicy food man. I aimed this shield without even looking. Nice. That's called hand-eye coordination. No, without looking. That's called hand-eye coordination, or hand memory, I guess. Okay. Uh, you want to use medley on this thing? I know that. Because I, I'm really, I really want to know through what's through this door. We'll end it as soon as we can get through this door, because I am curious. I also want to have my voice back. Nintendo, please, give me my voice back. You know what I kind of wish? This was the HD version. Why? Because then you wouldn't have to repeat the songs every time you want to play them. I like that. It can get kind of redundant. I am aiming it on the statue. Yeah, you are. That should count. Statues almost seem a little bit glitchy in this playthrough. You know? It's like you have to aim it on our forehead in order to do anything. Which is odd. I, if I recall, this is the mirror room. And then it would be a very good place to end off. Oh, it's not. Oh, snap. Okay, uh, let's look at our time before we, we go through here. Yeah, we should end it off here. Uh, go ahead and go back through the door, or just deal with those keys. 
yeah, so there's a sneak peek of what we're going to be dealing with next with next episode, and also next episode, uh, my voice should be back up to snuff. I am just as sick of of it as you guys probably are after listening to me for 20 minutes. And yeah, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays and Fridays, and catch us next time for another Pals Play Wind Waker. See ya!